All right, today is October 2nd, 2015, and we're watching the uh, Northwest Atlantic uh, Rainbow Infrared Loop. And uh, we're watching uh, Hurricane uh, Joaquin, which is a Category 3 storm, and the storm has uh, 125 mile per hour winds right here. And uh, the National Hurricane Center is now reporting that the storm is moving to the northeast at about 10 miles per hour. So let's go ahead and look at their uh, their map and uh, take a look and see what's uh, what they're reporting. All right, so they're reporting a 10 mile per hour movement at a northeast, at a northeast uh, direction with a 944 millibar uh, core pressure. And uh, so that's what's happening. And we also have this disturbance right to the uh, east of Joaquin. <laughs> And uh, that uh, area of low pressure is uh, a problem for the people that are running these transmitters because uh, these two systems could merge if they are not careful. In other words, if they decide to move Joaquin to the northeast before they take care of this problem, then uh, there could be a serious problem. And let's let's uh, let's go look at that. And uh, right here, let's take a look at that. Uh, in the uh, water vapor mode right here. So uh, yesterday we were talking about how this high pressure came uh, zooming across Texas and parked itself right here. And this is where it remains. This is high pressure that was moved in. It's artificial. This is a harp transmitter right here. And that is blocking any uh, westbound movement of uh, Joaquin into the uh, Gulf. <clears throat> they don't want this storm getting into the Gulf of Mexico. <clears throat> and uh, Similarly, right here, we have a high pressure that's been moved in in place <clears throat> to keep uh, any northbound movement in this storm in check. And that's why these two, uh, we've got one here on the east and a harp transmitter on the uh, west. And between these two uh, high pressures, the storm hasn't gone anywhere and it will not go anywhere until uh, such time. Now, what's probably going to happen here is that these two uh, high pressures will merge and that will cut off the flow of thunderstorms into the northeast and that's a problem right now we've got a lot of a lot of rain uh, moving uh, spiraling around this uh, clockwise high pressure right here and that will continue as long as this uh, flow is is uninterrupted so what i think they're going to do uh, first of all this hurricane is not going to go to the northeast like they're forecasting for two reasons one is that this high pressure is right here it's not going to let it and number two is because of this counterclockwise disturbance. This entire area right here is a problem because this could merge with this storm right here and cause a real problem, a much bigger storm. And so what they're doing right now is they are hitting this area with heat. There's a harp transmitter hitting this area right here. And we can see the dark area all through here. And that is indicative of heat. And so they are trying to kill this thing off uh, before they will allow, uh, or rather steer this thing off to the uh, north uh, east as they have been forecasting. So this is not going to go anywhere for probably another full day, I would guess, until this problem here is neutralized. Uh, because they don't have any other choice. They can't let this thing go towards the United States or this way because this high pressure right here is the only thing keeping it from going towards the United States. So they can't move this out of the way and let this go uh, northeast. If they do that, It'll, it'll go right where uh, all this uh, tail flow is going, which is right into the northeast. So, And they've got a, like I said over here, this is preventing any uh, westbound movement into the Gulf and, and you know, back into the United States. All right, so uh, this is the big problem here that they're going to be taking care of. And so we can see the heat starting to develop right here, harp transmitter, and that will eventually neutralize this counterclockwise movement and uh, this thing will just eventually become a lot of steam and water vapor, <clears throat> like we're seeing right over here. Uh, when they hit these storms, they turn into a lot of steam and water vapor. And that's what we're seeing right here. These rings that are uh, coming out of the center of the storm, those are, uh, those are shock waves from the uh, uh, microwave blasts. They hit the core of this with a uh, microwave, a uh, very highly focused, coherent uh, microwave energy heats the water vapor in the core so quickly that you have expansion. You know, uh, water expands when it gets very hot and you get these uh, rings. 
Now they're doing this very gradually because they, everybody's watching. And a lot of people are watching these hurricanes now because of this reporting. And a lot of people are watching what how, the destruction of these hurricanes. We can see the blast patterns and we see the color change over down here. This is the intensity of the, of the core right here. We got blue. When they hit these hurricanes, you can always tell because uh, the color changes and the core diminishes, the strength of the core diminishes. And uh, that's how we determine that this area is being targeted. Also, there's a blast pattern. And uh, this they're being very careful about how they do this because the blast pattern is not apparent in this view. If we go and look at the, uh, the infrared loop, uh, we do see uh, some, some, uh, some fingers along this edge right here in the red area. Right there. Okay. Now I'm going to try to get a close up of that um, uh, as we go along through this uh, loop. Now here is the visible light mode. Uh, and this is the area that they're hitting with the heat right over here. So they're going to they're going to wipe this low pressure out over here and then they will try to steer this out uh, that way. Now notice the uh, core here. They've got an overlay again, a fluorescent overlay which is hiding the uh, the microwave attacks. We can't see the dimples being made uh, by the transmitter in this uh, view because they've got an overlay. Now on the first frame, the very very first frame of this loop, we can see a a dimple right kind of right, right where that island sits, or just to the left of that uh, pen tip on the first uh, frame. Anyhow, so and same with out here, they're hiding a lot of the, uh, and we can see harp rings here. There are blast rings here where they're hitting this uh, area of low pressure. So they hide that by putting a, 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 an overlay, that is a graphical overlay, on top of this graphic. And that hides the detail that we're uh, trying to show. All right. Um, <clears throat> so again, uh, this storm is not going to be going anywhere. They've got this high pressure here and here that has completely trapped this storm from moving north. It can't move to the northeast because we've, they've got this uh, problem here. This is another low pressure, uh, which we were just showing over here in the, uh, in the, uh, right here. So they got to get rid of that. That was 70% chance uh, yesterday of uh, cyclone formation yesterday. And since they've been hitting uh, the storm, uh, since they've been hitting this storm, uh, this area rather, this low pressure area yesterday, uh, the, uh, the numbers dropped to 60%. So that is, uh, that's evident. We're seeing what, what the effort has done. All right. So uh, the forecast for this hurricane is, my forecast is this is going to stay right here until they get rid of that problem. That's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to go to the west or the north or the northeast. It's going to sit right there until they get rid of this problem. That may take a day. All right. Let's go to the west coast and we see that uh, two smaller weather systems have merged. We got this low pressure that's spinning. And at the same time, we've got a new high pressure that has developed over California right here. And that's going to block this front. And it's also going to block uh, this new flow that's starting to move up into uh, Mexico. And we can see that that's having an effect. The whole uh, moisture field is moving out to the, uh, to the northeast. So California is going to remain dry for the time being, unless this moisture flow comes down. This is what they were talking about on the news, but we can see that there's a harp transmitter right here all through that. And that is uh, weakening the, uh, the intensity of, of, of that core. And so they're, they're saying that this may drop down and bring some, uh, some rain, but I don't think that's going to happen. We'll get chemtrails. That'll be the, uh, that'll be our rainstorm. We'll have a chemtrail, uh, that's what they're going to do. They'll spray the skies. If there's going to be some rain, they'll spray the skies. We won't get rain. Uh, but anyhow, this is a very, very big system. Uh, and if we look at the pressure chart uh, right here, we can see that the uh, the pressure on this is about 998 millibar. It's located right here. All right. And um, So my forecast is that we're not going to have any rain of any significance in California. I hope I'm wrong, but they do have heat on this. We can see that happening right here, right there. 
they're, they're killing this off. It may drop down, uh, but uh, they're steering all this rain away. And of course, this will block uh, this front here. So this is not going to be moving towards California. They won't let it. And um, that's pretty much that. So uh, you can see the intensity here. A lot of thunderstorms down here, moving to the north east because of this high pressure. California is fairly dry. Uh, the uh, this low pressure that moved through California yesterday is rebuilt and it dumped uh, about 0.43 inches in Reno. Now in California there was no rain from the northern to the southern part of California. There was no rain. Uh, Fresno reported six one hundredths of an inch. And as soon as this uh, low pressure came right over uh, California, which we see right here. This is what came over California yesterday. It rebuilt and it's dumping rain all through these states. All right, so Reno got the rain, California got nothing except for Fresno, which had six one hundredths of an inch. All right, now let's look at some of these other maps real quick. This is the uh, East Pacific. This was a spinning low. They've uh, killed that with a harp transmitter. This was spinning counterclockwise. Uh, that's been uh, neutralized. All right, let's uh, keep going here. Um, all right, that's the uh, infrared loop. Got a lot of thunderstorms here that can that should be moving into Arizona and California, but it's not. They've got it, all this high pressure is redirecting redirecting all that. Uh, let's look at the uh, this is the southwest uh, water vapor loop. You can see a very strong uh, southeasterly flow here. That's that harp transmitter redirecting all this weather to the north. Uh, east. So there it is. The weather that should be moving into Arizona and California is being pushed out of the way. Once again, right on cue. This is just like clockwork. We see this happen all the time. And uh, everybody watching this, you need to start talking about this with your friends, sharing this information when you're standing in the line for groceries at the grocery store. Uh, you know, uh, this information, uh, you know, is important. It's a lot more important than sports and, and uh, movies and Hollywood crap. All right. So uh, let's start talking about this. You know, if people think you're a kook, don't worry about it. You've got knowledge that they don't have. You know, that's really the bottom line. Look at the size of this storm here. This is amazing. Look at the size of that. And they're putting heat right into the core. That's going to take a day or two to kill that off. And, uh, that's why we got this high pressure here. That they didn't want that moving into the uh, California area. That would put us underwater. That's a very, very large system. That's bigger than uh, Hurricane Joaquin. All right. Now here's the uh, infrared loop on that same system. Tons of rain in here, and uh, we can see that high pressure firmly in control once again. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll do an update tomorrow.